to the Czech Center Museum Houston. We're glad to have you. Follow me and let me show you around. Home of the largest U.S. collection of Czechoslovakian Art Deco, glass, and ceramics. Art has always been an important part of the Czech and Slovak expression. The main hall of the first floor is named after Bruno, the second largest city in the Czech Republic. Take a moment to gaze at the exquisite crystal vases, timeless furniture, and dazzling chandeliers as you tour the room. While browsing our antiques, don't forget to stop by our gift shop where we sell Czech, European, and Slovak items that will surely capture your heart. Take a seat at our President's Room. This room is named after Thomas Masaryk, the founder of Czechoslovakian, and Václav Havel, the first president of the Czech Republic. The paintings were commissioned from contemporary Moravian artists. Each collection is tailored by different artists, embodying the traditional folk art of the Czech and Slovak culture. This room is covered with religious pieces designed to incorporate prominent religious figures and artifacts of the Slavic society. Look around the room and take in the gorgeous history of Czech faith from the first Czechs on Rip Hill to the establishment of Cyrillic language to pagan Slavs in the 800s. As you're leaving the Wenceslas Chapel, the Honor Memorial Courtyard will catch your eye. Along the hall, you'll see how communism impacted politics and lifestyle of Czechs and Slovaks in the late 1900s. It's time to head upstairs. Here's our ballroom, a home for everyone, usable for any event such as art exhibits, weddings, concerts, you name it. Along the walls of this room, we have contemporary artwork and pieces of fine art from Alphonse Muha. Let's take the elevator to our last floor, Pilsen Hall, named after the town of Pilsen in the Czech Republic. This hall begins with a folk art display of clothing and musical instruments. As you continue walking, you'll see pictures of families who came to Texas as Czech and Slovak immigrants in hopes of finding a new start from the monarchy of the late 19th and early 20th century. The museum celebrates the cultural values and traditions these brave people brought with them, as well as other cultures that have shaped America. The glass cases are part of Czech pottery, glass, and porcelain collections. Czechoslovakia's thriving economy in the 1920s and 1930s became known for manufacturing pottery and glass. Here we have examples of Moravian and Bohemian blown glass and crystal. They are a representation of many different symbols from cultures all over the world. Named after famed philosopher and social thinker, John Comenius, this library holds a variety of books about Eastern European and Texan and Czech culture. The library is used in seminars, activities, and Czech language classes, inspired by Comenius, who supported the idea of education for all and fought for social justice and peace during the Thirty Years' War. Thank you for joining me on this brief tour of the Czech Center Museum, Houston. Come by and take a look for yourself at our marvelous history-rich artifacts. We're located at 4920 San Jacinto Street, open from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Check our website, www.checkcenter.org, for more information about the museum and future events. See you soon.